Hey fabulous! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Well, in this video, I will be answering the question you are asking, which is why am I still single? And let me just be clear on something, and that is I am no longer single. <laughs> yeah, your girl is married, and that is definitely the reason for my long absence from the YouTube world and why y'all have not been seeing my videos. But I'm back now. Yep, your girl is back, and without further ado let's just get straight into today's video The first reason you are still single is that you are falling for the wrong set of people. You are attracting someone who is not ready for a relationship at the moment. It is not like these people are bad. These people can even be very nice and highly romantic, but it is just that you are meeting them or liking them when they are not ready. The way you know this set of people is that they are unavailable emotionally. They can help you with a whole lot of other things but when it comes to committing their emotions it is a no-no in fact some of these sets of people are not available physically too they can chat to you all day but when it comes to meeting up they always have excuses excuses like their dog needs them they predict the weather will not be so good for an outing you know excuses that you can tell something is odd about my number two reason you are still single is that your self-esteem is either too high or too low. To have a relationship, you have to have a normal self-esteem. And how I put that in check is simple. Too high self-esteem is when you think someone is not good enough for you. And too low self-esteem is when you think someone is too good for you. Now, that doesn't mean you shouldn't consider your likes and dislikes, but you know, we all know when we are becoming proud, like when we think someone is not our spec or not in our league or not up to us in any way. That may be true, but that may not be right. Maybe I should let you know that something can be a fact, but not right. It may be a fact that that person is not in your league, but that doesn't mean that that person is not right for you. This also applies to the low self-esteem group. It is true that we are not equal judging by our levels in society, but you never can tell who can handle you when you leave the sector which you are high and well respected in and get back home. In your home, you will have to forget who you are outside to embrace the peace and serenity that the home offers. And sometimes the one who can give you that kind of home may not be in your league. My third reason why you are still single is that you are afraid of competing with others. When I was still dating my husband, well I am still dating him, this was one of the reasons I would have remained single. I was afraid of competing with other girls, not because I was actually afraid of them in real sense, but I was afraid of hurting them and their emotions. I was afraid of actually winning him and hurting my other competitors. I knew my husband loves me so much, but I would keep on breaking up with him so that he can date the other girls. <laughs> in fact, there was this particular lady I did that for more than others, but he wouldn't go. The truth is, dating itself is competitive and someone is going to be hurt, whether you like it or not. You can't please everyone, but you can decide if you are going to be the one to be hurt or another. I believe I was just blessed and lucky to have my husband to still stick around despite what I was doing to him. You may not be that lucky, so don't make such mistakes. Don't forget, someone else was also chosen over you in previous relationship that you may have had. So let go of that fear and enjoy this one that you have been chosen. And do not worry about if the person who loses becomes aggressive to you. 
because of that many of the times they will especially ladies they will hurt you and spread wrong rumors about you and try as much as getting a very large set of people to do the same just to make sure when you lose you are not someone who does that so also under this point your fear of competition could be that you are afraid of looking like a fool or of not being chosen this mostly applies to the male shit happens the worst is a yes or a no and when you get a no don't be afraid to try again i had a great preacher said there is yes in my future and i am telling you there is someone out there that will say yes to you but how will you meet this person if you stop trying My number four reason you are still single is that you are nurtured by the wrong parents. We can choose our parents, but we can choose how we become a parent. And I think that is beautiful. As long as we may not have the right environment while growing up and some of these experiences have shaped our ideas as we mature, it shouldn't be the reason we remain single. I believe this should motivate us to even be in a relationship. The community needs good examples of how healthy relationships should look like and be, and we can be that. Although we would have a very high tendency to be picky and that is because we do not want to make the same mistakes our parents made and we are much more consigned in partners that share a common belief with us. We should learn to also give room to allowances. We shouldn't be too uptight and we should learn to adjust but positively. Actually, this also applies to those of us who have a wonderful parental upbringing. We can also fall in the temptation of wanting too much we may be too hard on our partners and believe they should be perfect or better than our dad and mom learn to remember that the people we meet in our daily walks of life we can't really ascertain how broken they are or have been and that is what love is accepting them working with them being gentle and generous with them correcting their faults and flaws mildly and all of the good stuff you will want someone to do for you when you are not up to a task my fifth reason you are still single is that you are too indoish i don't know if there's any word like that but what i am basically saying is that you don't mingle you don't go out you don't exchange contacts you are not interested in meeting people chatting is a big work for you you know what i'm saying by now well i hate to be a bearer of bad news but you are going to remain single for a very long time if you are on this table don't always be the first to hurry out of an event unless you really have to a little conversation with who you are sitting with could open doors of opportunity for you the person sitting with you may not be your taste but you don't know who that person knows that they can introduce you to when you get to know them so don't be too quick to turn down our teens, especially if it is the kind of events that you will meet your friends friends business opportunities can also spring out from these two not necessarily relationships relationships with love as their agenda and at times it is as you get to know someone that you get to like them and begin to picture the future with them so don't be too quick to discard the dms on your social media pages give people opportunity to meet the awesome person that you are and my last reason for this video on why you are still single will be that you have not moved on from your ex or you have moved on so bad that you have gotten used to being single if you know that if you date someone else at the moment and your ex comes back while you are in a relationship with this person you will leave them and return to your ex simply means that you have not moved on from your ex and this could be the reason you turn down relationship advances i have made a video on how to forget your ex so you should check that out but just to recap relationship breakup happens it is part of life don't beat yourself for too long 
long and if the case with you is that you have gotten used to being single it is time to let go of that defenses and that wall you have built because as the day passes that wall becomes more thick and unless you have decided to be single for the rest of your life it is time to change your mindset and perspectives yeah we have come to the end of this video i hope you learned something new and my question for this week to you is is it normal to be single for a long time and why comment down your answers i love to read them and i didn't forget my last word for this week which is taken from first corinthians 7 verse 36 and it reads if a man has a woman friend to whom he is loyal but never intended to marry having decided to serve god as a single and then changes his mind deciding he should marry her he should go ahead and marry it is no sin it is not even a step down from Sally Basie as some say this is the message Bible translation don't forget to subscribe if you're new here like this video and of course share it is not good to keep knowledge to yourself see you in my next video I love you all bye